This video was brought to you by my euphoric neck beard. So most of our videos are basically stealth promotional videos for our paid plugins. So I thought it'd be nice to give back to the community. In this video, we're focusing on the five best free plugins on the market that are not by us. So we're hoping to shine a light on all the selfless work that other developers do to improve your After Effects workflows. So this list is just my personal opinion on what I use all the time. These are plugins that I can't live without, but I'm sure you have a list of plugins that you can't live without and you're probably disagreeing with me. So if any of the ones that you love I've missed out, make sure you add them in the comments below so that people can see and spread the love. So first on our list is FX Console by our Lord and Savior, Andrew Kramer. This one is one of those plugins where if I'm freelancing at a studio, as soon as I open up After Effects, I'll hit control spacebar and wonder what, where's my hotbox because they don't have it installed and I cannot use After Effects without it. Because in any given day, you'll probably be reaching for the effects and presets panel a hundred times, 200 times. And if you have to drag your mouse all the way over to the effects and presets menu or right click on the layer and sift through all the different uh, third party providers you've got, that's time wasted that you could be speculating on Dogecoin. But now we have FX Console. And I believe that this plugin was probably inspired by Maya's Hotbox, which is basically FX Console, but for every single menu inside the entire program. Uh, but I don't know whether that's true or not. I'm just guessing. And if I say it confidently enough, you'll believe it. Second plugin on our list is Ease and Whiz by Ian Hay. Now, this is actually a port of a bunch of easing expressions written by Robert Penner, but Ian Hay is the guy who brought it to After Effects for us. And for that, I thank him because I'm terrible at animation and easing. Essentially, you can think of it as like a free version of Flow, but without the cool GUI. And I actually prefer it to Flow because these mathematical expressions have a certain quality to them that's actually very difficult to emulate with Bezier curves. So for example, if we look at the Ease and Wiz Expo expression, we see this curve. If you try and emulate that yourself in the graph editor, it's very, very difficult and also very time consuming. So with Ease and Wiz, you just slap it on and you get the best easing you could possibly get. It also has some pretty gimmicky, but sometimes useful ones such as elastic, bounce and back. So these are a bit cheeky and, um, but they're fun to play with. It's just probably, you probably won't use them on some high end client work. Number three on our list is Thick Stroke by Plugin Everything. Now, these are a bunch of guys who live in their mom's basement in Australia and um, they've been producing a few plugins recently. And this one is a very interesting plugin because it's a tapered stroke, which users of After Effects have been crying out for for years, but they released it just after uh, After Effects released their own inbuilt tapered stroke, which is better. So why would you download it? Well, the purpose of thick stroke is that it also has gradient along a path, which you can't achieve in After Effects without any third party plugins. And this one is free, so we thought we'd include it on our list. And they, there we have it. The next one on our list, number four, is Quick Chromatic Aberration, also by Plugin Everything. That's their second entry on this list. This one I use all the time, I can't live without it. And I know people say it's overdone, but adding half a pixel of chromatic aberration to your footage, it just adds so much, at least in my opinion. And I love it so much that even if we have footage that's filmed in camera, which already has its own chromatic aberration from the camera itself, I will still add quick chromatic aberration to it to increase the amount of chromatic aberration. I feel like this is reminiscent of like back in the 70s when all cinematographers were trying to avoid getting lens flares in their work because that was sort of like an amateurish mistake. And then jump forward 30 years and we've got JJ Abrams running around with um, lens flares coming out of every orifice. And then we've got the optical flares um, plugin by Video Copilot, which basically every single Hollywood blockbuster movie uses gratuitously. So I feel like chromatic aberration, it's like something we used to try and get rid of, but now we just embrace it and we all love it. But just don't go overboard because yeah, you can very easily add too much of this. Just half a pixel, that's it. Last on our list is Displacer Pro, also by Plugin Everything. These guys are killing it today. Um, Displacer Pro is basically a way better version of the inbuilt displacement map effect, but it can also do translation, rotation, and scale all at the same time. It has a bunch of powerful controls for manipulating the displacement map that you supply it. 
So it has say smoothness or easing and gamma correction, inversion, all those things. And it also has inbuilt chromatic aberration, which gets another tick from me. The real power of this effect is for creating like trippy acid scenes or memes or um, transitions. It creates really cool transitions and it's also great for patting yourself on the back. So that is the fifth place on our list of five best plugins for After Effects. And the reason that we created this specific video, top five free plugins for After Effects not made by us is because if we included plugins that were made by us, we'd occupy spots one to five and that wouldn't be fair for the competition. So I feel like we're just easing the playing field here by excluding ourselves and only talking about other people. So what did you think? Did your favorite free plugin everything product make this list? If not, write a comment below and let us know which one it is. Stay tuned for next week's video, which is the top five best free tapered stroke plugins that feature a gradient along a path by plugin everything. I can't wait to see which five make the list.